Well, thank you, Zaina. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to London. In order to make it in these difficult times, I think there is also a very tough and uncompromising message uh, that all of us, politicians perhaps particularly, have to take on. And it's this. Countries all around the world have to face up to some very hard truths and to take some difficult decisions. The global competitive race has never been faster. Some countries will make it, some won't. And the challenge is particularly great right here in our European neighborhood. Since the financial crash, the world economy has grown by 20%. But Europe has hardly grown at all. The countries that make it will be those that step up to meet the big long-term challenges. Getting your debts under control, ensuring you've got a welfare system that you can afford, making sure, yes, you've got a great pension system for older people, but making sure you have liabilities you can manage, building an education system that's going to produce some of the best graduates in the world, making your economy as competitive as it possibly can be, ensuring you are linked up to the fastest growing parts of the world, and that your trade is delivering as many jobs as possible. My message today is very simple. Britain is back open for business, and we're committed to supporting global growth with open trade between our nations. So invest in Britain, partner with Britain, not just to invest in this country, but because I believe this will increasingly be seen as the place, as the hub from which your company can grow and expand. So let's make this Olympic year a great year for your business here in Britain. Thank you.